This is Twit. Give us the 30,000 foot view. Uh, when people are reaching for Pyrex, what problem are they trying to solve? Yes, they, they are trying to find a molecule that will be a potential drug, tar, a drug candidate, and they do that by screening a libraries of compound, again, potential drug targets. The, the folding at home project is very, like, it's a first step to get into that drug target. And we, I've, I started this project back in 2009 while I was working at the Scripps Research Institute. I was a lead developer for a program called Python Molecular Viewer. And we also run the, uh, I was working at Art Olson Lab, uh, which is called Molecular Graphics Lab. And we, we run there also a project called Fight AIDS at Home, which is similar to f Folding at Home. There they all were also using IBM's resources, or the whole community grade to screen these, these compounds against uh, different proteins. So is this thing actually simulating what's happening in like 3D space based on the shapes of the molecules? Yes, it tries to, if you have a folded structure of the protein, it tries to find small molecules that will bind uh, in different pockets and try to inhibit or somehow affect the biology. So this is the kind of thing we can do on a home uh, PC rather than, like, was this, was this all the realm of supercomputers like 20 years ago? Yes, actually, when I started it, you there were some script that you can use on a supercomputer, but there was no graphical user interface for this open source uh, molecular drug docking program, which is called Autodoc. That was mm -hmm. one of the first open source software available out there that can do uh, uh, protein ligand docking. Okay, and. Um I, 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 when I looked at the website for this, I see that, yes, you, 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 you claim this is open source, but I don't see an open source current version. Yes, we. I, I've started it like back in 2009. I have the version 0 0.8 as open source and everything was like the, the installers and everything was free. Currently, the, the source code is free. It's still hosted on, on SourceForge, but the building of the installers is, I, I do work on that, so I'm expecting to get paid for that. So I, I do this mostly as like a hobby project. Okay, and so, uh, and, but you also base it on a number of open source technologies. Some of those are clearly GPL. So are you, uh, are, are you complying with the GPL license if you keep some yeah. of it closed source? Yes, it's like a Red Hat model, everything uh, built with the open source, but the final product is uh, you you pay to enjoy it. You can do it, build it yourself, but it's time consuming. So to get the final product, to install the uh, packages and all the dependencies and things like that, you, you, you will need to buy the paid version. Okay, and how does... How does I'm just really I'm still sort of confused. And who's who's reaching for this? Who 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 wants to use this? Yeah, that, that, that's a good question. Initially, when I started this project, I was thinking there will be like a few big pharma companies who would be interested in this. But they like after like that four or five years, I realized that most of the con consumers are academics doing research. And so this would be like somebody who's uh, doing like, you know, wants to make a drug to like cure cancer or I don't know, uh, make you sneeze less or something. I mean, this, this is the kind of thing somebody would reach for to, to use that. Right, right. If, if you are a medicinal chemist, you want to find a compound that will cure disease or fight viruses or, or whatever. This is a kind of program you can use for that. So where does the raw data come from? I mean, clearly you have some information about uh, like what, say, I, I'm making stuff up here because this is not my area, but like, like aspirin. Aspirin has a certain shape, right? And it, where does that data come from? Yeah, so the, that data, the, for like the, the biology is like very old story. Like the, the data can come from the old, old herbal medicine or whatever, but the, the starting for... Uh, starting uh, files for the Pyrex are the PDB, which is Protein Data Bank, and it's a 
basically three-dimensional structure of the protein molecule with, with X, Y, Z coordinates and you know, type of atoms in the molecule. And then you have libraries of compounds that you can get it like aspirin and you can see if you can use aspirin against uh, other diseases and such.